All right. Happy Sunday. Welcome to the Sunday night call, training call, coaching call, that we come live every Sunday, same place, same time, 8 p.m. Central Time Zone. And I am just fired up tonight. So many people tuning in from all over the country, all over the world, tuning in tonight. And I love getting together with like-minded people. As I look around, as I look around and I see faces from, from all over the world, it's like-minded faces, people that are out there thriving, people out there, you know, with a desire to be more. And listen, <clears throat> if we can take our time and bring it here for an hour or 45 minutes and you get one thing, one nugget, one takeaway, and you go apply it back to your business and you see success, it was worth it. It was worth it to me. So we're very blessed to have you. My name is Brent Palmer. Uh, I've been in the industry for almost a decade, and I am so excited about being a part of Oryx. Um, I came from the Limu company as we've merged over with Oryx, and I want to tell you, uh, my heart is racing for what I'm seeing in Oryx. And tonight, I want to just get right to it, okay? Tonight, just yesterday, how many of you were on the call yesterday with Dr. Fred Cooper and Chris Doyle? Wow. Wow. You're talking about being at the right place at the right time where the timing, you're, you're like, you know, I missed Apple. How many of you missed Apple back in the day when nobody knew about the name Apple? Yeah, you know, I missed that. Okay. But I'll tell you this, we're sitting in a time right now where it's truly the right place at the right time to just get after it, share it to the world, because our company, Rx, is exploding, exploding. And I have someone that's joining me tonight that I wanted to kick the call off with because he had Dr. Fred Cooper on yesterday on his call. I want to tell you, I've gotten to know Chris Doyle. Um, and I want to tell you, heart of gold but he also comes with a lot of wisdom. You're talking about a gentleman that over the last, getting close to 20 years in our industry, has built successful businesses. Businesses. He has earned millions of dollars in this industry. But he actually sought out and found Rx, him and his team and his organization. They, they went looking and found Rx. And so I invited him on to kick the call off because if we're truly at the right place at the right time, if we're truly in a company that is getting ready to go through momentum, I'm going to show you on the back end of the call what Brent Palmer is going to do as far as a system. You know, it's not what works in this industry. It's what duplicates to the masses. I'm going to show you that at the end of the call, but I want to get your belief right. I want to get your energy level right. And I want to get you to just dream a little bit and imagine a little bit about being at the right place at the right time with this company called Rx. And there's no better person that can bring that home than Chris Doyle. So at this time, I want to bring Chris on to the call. Chris, you there with me? I'm here, Brent. Thank you for the introduction. Hey, well, thank you. And uh, just so you know, Chris, when, when we came over, sometimes – you know, when you're going into a new field house or you're going into a new team, sometimes it's not accepted really well. But I'll be honest, since day one, Chris has been there, open arms. And, um, you know, I'm forever grateful for that because he didn't treat me like a new kid on the block. He embraced me and embraced the organization. And uh, – but I look back and I go, this guy's been a part of Oryx for – several years. And so I, I wanted to bring you on tonight, Chris, because we had, first of all, thank you for having Dr. Fred Cooper on yesterday. Hey, it was great to get him on. That was the first time I'd had him on a Saturday call and I was glad to have him there. Absolutely. That was amazing. It was, it really was amazing. And, you know, tonight I just wanted to kind of wrap everybody's head around what they really got in their hands right now. I, I know, I know I believe, I know what I got in my hands, but maybe going back to the beginning, 
you know, when you first brought your team to Oryx, you know, maybe can you start us from there? And I know you you shared a lot of sight with, insight with me yesterday about Fred Cooper's not a hype guy. That's right. <laughs> And so I may, maybe we can start at the beginning and, and work right here for the next few minutes. You know, Brent, I'd love – I have so much I would love to share with your team to try to make sure I make the right points because, you know, you, you can make an impact on someone's life that, um, you know, it's very important to me that they hear what I got to say. And by the way, for those that are on Brent's team, so you know, Brent, this is the first Sunday night call that I have done in seven years. I don't do Sunday night calls. <laughs> but – with that said, why? I've been doing this long enough now that I, have, I own my life and I do what I want to do, but I also know what's going on right now in this company. Mainly because I've seen the picture show before. I have been through it once with one other company when I saw momentum hit. But I'm going to back up because Brent asked me to talk to you about RX and what really started for us, me, I've been here seven years, uh, a little over seven and a half, seven years in about three months, I guess. We st I can tell you, it's really odd. I can remember it was on the, joined the company on Valentine's Day, <laughs> seven and a half years ago. And the reason I remember that is because I was, I was kind of in the doghouse because I was on the road in Destin, Florida, meeting with Fred Cooper and Tim Sales and um, Jeff Yates. And I'm trying to think who I was there. Todd Rowland, of course, my mentor and my partner, whatever you want to call Todd. And yes, you're right. We uh, we had been in this. I've only been with two companies. I, I, I didn't really, for those who joined network marketing and not really sure this is your, what you really wanted to do, uh, I'm that guy. I joined this industry 18 years ago. <laughs> Never dreamed I would still be doing it 18 and a half years later. Um, what can I say? I would never go back to the conventional business world, even though I made millions of dollars in conventional business. But back to Dr. Cooper, I want you to understand that when we, we looked, the first time network marketing found me, you may have heard Todd Rowland say that, I went to a meeting, I didn't want to be there, I saw a business, it made sense, it's risk versus reward. I always tell people, network marketing is risk versus reward. If you're willing to put your Go out there and really do something, the reward can be great. If you don't, you know, it won't be. It didn't, but that's the same thing in all business. But I joined the industry because I saw the risk versus reward. Made did very well with you know, I'm trying to be very cautious because I know this is being recorded. I don't want to say the wrong things because the Federal Trade Commission jumps us. I did very well, did very and made more money than I ever dreamed possible in this industry. And then uh that didn't work out because the ownership and wasn't because it was a bad people. They just didn't know what they were doing. Now, you got to understand my business background. I'm a business guy. I've never really had a job more than a year. I never worked for somebody. I'm an entrepreneur by heart. So I looked for, when I went to look for the second company, this time, no offense, guys, it wasn't MOA going to get me on board. It wasn't no slenderized drops going to get me on board. No, get nothing against Lemu. I knew about your company. Brent knows I knew about your company very well. <laughs> I wasn't doing that. I was recruited. Todd was recruited. We were offered all kinds of deals. Guys, I don't even want to go into it. You would not believe some of the offers we were made to go to other companies. I felt like an athlete for once in my life. And I could never, guys, I can't, I never played sports in, in that way successfully. But here's what I want you to know. We picked RX. <laughs> and looking back on it, man, I wished I could tell you I was that smart. It just seemed right. Dr. Cooper and their experienced team made us believe, and I look at the numbers, and when I look back now, I'm thinking, what was I thinking? <laughs> I mean, they had done $6 million, and companies recruiting me, offering me big bucks to go to them, were doing $100 million or $150 million. But I was convinced that Fred Cooper's vision, he convinced me anyway that day. Looking back seven years, I'm wondering if I just wasn't at the right place at the right time, whatever the reason. I wouldn't have, two years later, my team followed me, and a lot of them did. Some of them didn't. Long story made short, everything Fred Cooper told us, everything Jeff Yates told us, everything they told us they were going to do over seven years has turned, it's happening. So a company that I was scared to death, I'm just going to be as honest as I know how. I'm like, this is really... Nerve, you know, really scary. 
because we were telling people we believed. I even told people I might be wrong. I was so honest with them. Guys, different position now. It's seven years has passed, seven years and three months. And many, I'm looking at the numbers here. We have over a couple hundred people listening tonight. Some of you are going to change your life from up from forever. And you're going to look back and say, I can't believe I got this chance. I can't believe I heard about this opportunity. And other are going to make excuses. And I'm just straight to the point, guys. It is the way it works. I had people with my other company who were doing better than me when I, with the other company I joined. I'm talking about my neighbors, people that I know within a few miles of me told me I got lucky. Guys, then there, there's no such thing as luck except one part. You get placed in a position, and maybe you've been lucky to be placed in a position, but then you're going to have to go do the work. I don't care how good you are, there'll be work. So let me give you some numbers here. This is Fred. I've known Fred for seven years. He's come over here and hunted with me, hunted whitetail buck in West Tennessee. I've carried his boys hunting. Fred Cooper is a mathematical genius. His IQ is way over Einstein's. He won't tell you that, but it's not just a few digits over. It's way above it. That does it, but he's a down-to-earth person. He is a real good guy. I've never seen Fred Cooper bouncing off the walls. I couldn't sleep last night. When Fred Cooper, I mean, I've been with him on lots of occasions. I mean, you have to understand, I have hung out with him. We've hunted together. We've been on the lake together. And all at once, yesterday, I mean, I was texting Fred afterwards for an hour. I'm like, what happened? I mean, I've, I've texted him in China in the middle of the night and talked. Told him he was brilliant for some of the stuff he's done. Yet, I never told him that I saw what's happening right now. So what's my point? Six million when I joined, they had just done six million dollars. And I'd like to tell you that when we came over, it was because that's why they did 30 million. Nah, it wasn't us. We still, people thought we were crazy for joining this young company. And I could even tell you the names of these people and the companies they went with. We won't do that to them. Long story made short, seven years later, the company is now over 200 million. And they had, when I was with Jeff Yates in January, he told me we were, going, we were they projected 300 million. And yesterday, Dr. Cooper told me they have changed that projection to 500 million. Now, guys, Lima is a part of that, sure. But y'all ain't that big, of, no offense. But y'all didn't make that happen. <laughs> this is happening in France. This is happening in Europe. This is happening in China. This is happening in Japan. So what does it mean? Here's what I want to tell you what it means. I've just, I, I may be wrong, but guys, unless Myra's in Knoxville, there is two people from the state of Tennessee on this call, and I'm the, I'm the guest host, and nobody's here. Guys, we're sitting in a place that you'll never, ever, and some of you will look back and say, I wish I had. Others will look back and say, I'm glad I did. And what's going to be the difference? This timing, what I've spent, I have been, <clears throat> excuse me, Brent, you know I've been kind of retired. <laughs> I have not been working very hard here. I brought a team over, and I've been re Hey, it's really nice when you got Dr. Ginger and Aaron Decker on your team with match pay. You make a lot of money not doing anything, okay? But what we're setting on right now over the next 36 months will change people's lives forever. That doesn't mean you will do it. I know Brent Palmer's going to do it. I've already seen it in his eyes. He and I sat together. I drove down to Florence to spend some time with him. Why did I do that? He's not on my team. I wish he was, but he's not. But is he on my team? See, I think he is. See, I think he's on my team because I think we're on the RX team. And I, the way I look at it is we may, we may, we may be cross-line, but right now, the position we set in, those of us who go to work, all of us work together, the next three years, you're going to see this company not be a billion-dollar company. You're going to see it be a multi-billion-dollar company. And I truly believe... I mean, I never heard Dr. Cooper, listen, I heard him tell me what they wanted to do and become a billion dollar company. But you, if you didn't hear him yesterday, he doesn't want to be just a billion dollar company. Now he is talking about becoming number one. He wanted to be top three. He told me that for five years. Now he believes, guys, I just wouldn't bet against him. <laughs> it does, here's the point. You don't have to, it doesn't matter. Aaron Decker and I had this conversation. I'm, I, Guys, he doesn't, he, his goal is different. Chris's goal is to be financially independent, which I guess I am, 
but my goal is to do things that my grandchildren can be financially independent from this company because of the way you can let some other ones take it over. Someone else can have your business. And I know I'm sitting in a place that over the next three years, if I'm willing to do the work, and I want to make that very clear, this will not be a lottery. It'll be work. But if you'll be willing to do the work and let some people laugh at you and, be, and let some people tell you no, over the next three years, you're going to see something really special happen. <laughs> I mean, I've known, I knew that it was going to be a special company over the last 12 months. Uh, it's changed. For me to be willing to go back to work and, hey, Brent, to be on your Sunday night call, <laughs> I'm engaged. I mean, I don't have to have this anymore, but it's different right now. I'd be mad at myself for not engaging. So ask me a question. I, I mean, I may have went, I don't sure what direction you wanted me to go. But. No, 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 no. That's, that's perfect because it's belief for, for me. I have the belief. I'm very fortunate to have you as a friend, a new friend that I bonded with, but, but the reason I bond so well with Chris and, 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 and uh, Todd Rowland, I'm just going to, let's call it what it is. They just call it like it is. They look at people and say, this isn't an amazing opportunity, but you got to go get it. You got to go take a bite out of it. You see, I was someone almost a decade ago that got caught up in a company that went to almost $100 million in the U.S. alone. My best friend enrolled me. He didn't work. I did. It wasn't because I was an Einstein. It wasn't, I, I, I just saw the opportunity that no one knew the name Lemu. Now this is not about Lemu tonight, but let it be a story. Because I took off running as a high school principal and an athletic director. When the workload would get done, when, when the day would get done as a principal, I'd go to a coffee shop and share. I'd go to somebody's home and share. I'd go to a big event and share. I'd get on the phone and share. I'd do whatever I could. And I got caught up in that wave of momentum. And today I've been blessed to earn millions of dollars. Chris Doyle on the call tonight, you're listening to the same story from a guy. Chris, your first company where no one knew their name and you got caught up in momentum too. You've told me before, you did more in one year than all years combined. That was something Fred Cooper said yesterday. We will do more this year than all the years of Oryx combined. Maybe just touch on that because I'm, I'm building up to tell people how to go share. Because if you don't go share, it don't matter. That's exactly right, Brent. So you, that story you're talking about is that, oddly enough, I started with that company in the 14th month. And you know, fate has it, I started in RX in the 14th month. I, don't, I, I mean, I don't know what that means to anything, but it is odd for me. Not anybody else can probably say that. I mean, I joined literally within a couple of weeks exactly to the company's uh, date. But at any rate, the company I was with before when it started, uh, I needed it. I was in a different place in my life. So I was desperate, uh, lost everything. I was bankrupt. Uh, I was in the, you know, I need to pay utility bills. I needed to pay house payments. It wasn't, it was a different place. So I was desperate. I was wanting to work different here because I did, I don't have that. I mean, I, I did well, I made a lot of money in the other company. And so we did well, but I picked the company wrong. And it's not saying anybody's picked anything wrong in you guys. I mean that a company to go long-term and do something really special takes some really special ownership. And what makes this company special is that ownership. But the back to your story is that that first year, I didn't do very well, Brent. And I bet there's people on this call that have been in, in your team and like, man, I've struggled. I'm not making any money. I didn't make a lot of money. I was very frustrated. I, that first year I made, how many, I hate to even admit how much I made. It, it wasn't very good. <laughs> And the second year, I did make a little better. I made like seventy or $80,000, but I was 100% full time. It was not just all day. It was 12, 14 hours a day, seven days a week. That's how committed I was. And I really still didn't do very well. I almost quit. When I say almost, I actually told my sister I was quitting. And then in the third year, it got a little better. And then the fourth year, I could go into training sometime. We'd talk about what changed. 
and things got better. I started making a little money. I finally found some people that were like-minded, people that wanted to do what I wanted to do, Think people that wanted to change their life, people that wanted to do better. So if there's one piece of advice, don't spend your, life, don't spend your time working with people that want you. Spend your time working with people who deserve you. That's one piece of advice I got from anybody. And I always wanted it for other people worse than they wanted it for themselves. But that's a training thing we'll do someday. Ends up about the fifth year, things were doing pretty well. Uh, I'm, you know, my income was um, two digits in front of the comma monthly, okay? And it got to be a couple digits, you know, multiple digits. I mean, lot, $20,000, $30,000 a month. That was decent. But considering what I'd come from, it wasn't a lot. And then the momentum hit. And they kept telling me about this thing called momentum, but never being in network marketing. I'd read about it and I'd heard about it, but I didn't understand it. And then it happened. I hit some people in my business and I watched them make more money than me in the first two years, in their first six months. And then I watched them the second year make more money than I had in my third year. And I watched a guy that didn't, Literally, now don't get me wrong, they were my team, so it was a good thing for me because it was increasing my income, so I wasn't mad at all. And in my sixth year, um, things exploded with that company. Oddly enough, it's almost the same time, and Todd and I have talked about how eerie that is timing-wise. The company's about the right age, momentum's beginning to happen. And then for me, in my seventh year, I made more money than my first six years. Actually, if you want to go back one year, the, the sixth year, I made more than I did my first five years combined income. And I thought that was great because it was, you know, it was a lot of money. <laughs> Three digits in front of the comma. I'm trying to be careful what I say because I mean, I'm for, I swear these people, you can tell the truth in this industry and it don't even matter. And then the next year, it doubled again. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It doubled again. And I couldn't believe it. And then in my eighth year, I'd made more than the first seven combined. And it was so odd that Coach, a Coach, but uh, Fred Cooper said that yesterday, Coach, that he said, you know, the company is going to do more this year than it did the first. I thought, man, that don't sound familiar. And then he got so excited. I mean, I'm, I have begged him to tell me what's coming at the end of July. I have no idea what he's talking about. He will not hint. But when Fred Cooper says something is going to be so big that it will change the entire industry, that people will, and it's patented. I don't even know what he's, I got no idea what he's talking about. So, you know, I just know timing, and it doesn't matter if it's network marketing, right? The whole world is about timing. You mentioned uh, Apple. Well, guys, I'm old enough to remember when Microsoft wasn't around. <laughs> and I, you know, I remember when Walmart was new. So I'm an old guy. So I can just tell you this, there'll be a day come when you can say, man, I was a part of that company, RX, before they became a household name. Now, the good news can be, I'm, that's how I made my fortune. And the other can be, you know, I didn't take advantage of that situation because see, I got a call from a guy trying to get me to buy Microsoft. I'm, I tell you his name, tell you where he lives right now. And Brent, you know where Pickwick is, Pickwick Lake. Okay, well, he's got the house on the point they call Taco Bell. That's my best friend. He lives on that corner house going in People come to buy it. It's an eight or ten million dollar house, and he called me and tried to get me to buy Microsoft stock. Didn't know what they were. He just says his uncle told him they were going to be huge. As you know, I did not buy any <laughs> because the funny part was he said, "I said, what do they make?" He said, "I don't know exactly. They got something to do with computers." And I'm like, "Well, I don't even have a computer." And long story short, he said they also did something to do with windows. And I said, I, they're in the construction business. I didn't take time to listen. I did not purchase. And I had the money. That's the sad part. I could have invested. I bought some stuff that went down. Anyway, long story short, this doesn't require you to buy a stock. But it does require you to put your stock in the company. Sweat equity is what I call it. And that's why I love network marketing. Because an average person with an above average want, above average, Brent Palmer has an above average want to. And when he saw a taste, he saw that he could do it. 
So anybody on here can do it. I see Anthony on. Anthony did a call for me the other night. I, I love Anthony more. I did a call for me the other night. He answered the call to talk to somebody on my team for me that was an athlete. I thought they could relate to Anthony. He didn't have to do that. Guys, when you're in a position when you can help somebody else and you build an organization, we all work together, the next 24 to 36 months is going to be such a major deal. <laughs> Some of you are going to make millions. Here's the other side. So what if you just made ten dollars or $20,000 a month? What if it was just $10,000 a month? What if it was just $5,000 a month? If you start figuring out what it is that it takes to make that kind of money or the financial advisor, guys, residual income is the biggest thing that ever happened to business. The wealthy people understand that. And unfortunately, the poor people like I grew up don't understand it. They work, they trade time for money all their life. So I'm not sure what direction you want me. Here's what you get. Good thing about working with Brent. We have absolutely nothing prepared. He just told me he wanted me to get on here. <laughs> there was nothing set up. He said, I want you to talk about Dr. Cooper. And I've talked about other things else, but I'm like, I wanted you to come straight from the heart and you, you did it. You did it because, and, and, and me and Chris share so many beliefs the same. He said, sweat equity. As he was in Arkansas at, a, at an in-home party just this week and multiple ones this week. I was in the great state of Louisiana this week in people's homes, sharing the good word, right? In living rooms, learning the color of their carpet. I promise you this, as God is my witness, I'm not missing this run. I'm not missing this momentum because it just don't feel real good at the time for Brent Palmer. No, 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 no. My kids deserve it. My kids deserve it. And I'm gonna get every bit of it I can for me and here's the thing, Chris is going to do the same. Chris, thank you so much for just kind of setting the tone for tonight because I'm, to, I'm about to bring it home on the training side of how to share because at the end of the day, you know, Dr. Cooper said this in Chris's call the other day, he, yesterday. He said, we have patent pending things coming that no one else in the industry's got. We have companies begging us right now to join. We're having to turn them away. We were, so we're going to introduce new companies to you. We're going to introduce new markets to you. We're going to introduce new products to you. We're going to introduce new patent pending things and incentives. Like we're going to be so disruptive in 2020, it's going to blow your mind. That's what he said on the call. And, he was, and Chris said, we talked after the call, and he's like, he's so giddy, I've never seen him like this. Oh. The knocking is on the door for all of us. And here's what me and Chris know. Some will charge the mountaintop. And unfortunately, there will be people that let it pass by. It's our job. I feel like it's my job. And I know Chris feels the same way. To make sure we do our job to make sure that everybody hears this. So that they don't let it pass them by because I want everybody to get what I've experienced in this industry and beyond. And I know he does too. Chris, anything else you want to add? And I'll get into the, to the training part of it. Thank you for your time. And I know you don't do Sunday night, but I really appreciate you pouring into everybody. Yeah, well, I will do more Sunday night because of our timing. The last thing I'm going to say to all of you is the most important piece of real estate that you're going to deal with is the one between this side and this side. It's about a, th in my case, because I got a big head, y'all can see that it's about four inches for me. So it's a little ways across from my big old head. I wear a size eight hat. But here's what I want you to understand. Guys, if you'll realize that if you can change your thinking, and some of you, that's gonna be your hardest part, to believe enough in yourself. Coach Palmer can give you what it takes. There's so many people who can teach you what it takes. <laughs> Coach Myra Miles is on there. She texted me a second ago. Guys, I can promise you, there's these guys that go to in, in, in the University of Tennessee or any big Division I school that are 5A athletes. Just because they're a 5A and they got the talent doesn't mean give me a guy who's got heart and give me a person who wants change. I'd rather have that person that's got that decision made in their head way more than they got talent. Because Chris Doyle is never talented here. I just had one, two.
Todd Rowland will tell you, I was probably the most untalented person you ever met in this industry, but I have want to. So coach, I will tell all of your team and, I, and some of these folks, I can tell some of my team members, your want to is more important than anything I can tell you. So think about what you want from this and listen to Coach Palmer. He'll tell you what to make it happen. Have a good one, guys. Thanks so much, Chris. Thanks for your time and your leadership. And, guys, I'll go ahead and set a disclaimer tonight because there's teams from all over the place, okay? But you got to understand this. This is the disclaimer. I come from a coaching background to where in the offseason we'd go to – We'd go to Utah, we'd go to Florida, we'd go to other coaches, and we'd learn from them. And even though they might not have ran the same offense or the same defense or the same system, I could always pull a nugget from them. Does that make sense? I could always pull something and apply it to my business. Here's what I'm not telling you to do tonight. I'm not telling you to copy. You don't have to copy my system. But I'm going to tell you my system so that hopefully there's something I share that you can use to make your team a better team. That's my whole goal. That's my whole prayer, okay, because I learn every day. I've learned from Chris Doyle. I can promise you that since I've been a part of Oryx. And so tonight, you know, it's so funny. I had a quote today, or not a quote. I had somebody on Facebook today. I'm not going to get on a rant. But I had somebody on Facebook today that said, you know, old school network marketing is old. You know, you don't, you don't get friends and family in it. You don't do this and you don't do that. And I'm going, what? Well, I'm so glad that a friend of mine told me. <laughs> Man, if he, my friend wouldn't have told me almost a decade ago about this industry, he would have cost me millions of dollars, millions of dollars. So tonight, when you think about it, I go, I'm in better shape, better health at 44 than I was at 36. I'm glad my friend told me. So I'll be honest with you, I think it's just a big sales pitch to go out there on social media and talk about how you shouldn't invite friends and family to this. I think we should invite the world and let them choose for themselves if they want to be a part. And I'm going to tell you tonight a simple system, okay, to doing that. Now, I want to open up to say um, what I've learned in the industry, and I said this earlier, it's not what works for you or for me. It's what we can duplicate as we build this business, okay? And so what I learned, okay, I'm going I'm I'm to draw some numbers up for you, okay? Okay, a lot of you, and, and I'm going to erase the board. So, so remember now, I'm a coach, okay? I like, I like to draw. And Crystal Vance, I can see Crystal. If you can see this, hopefully you can, then give me a thumbs up, okay? So I'm going to move back, and I'm going to get interactive, so stay with me. This is like coaching right here, okay? I'm at, the white, I'm at the grease board. But what I learned in the industry when I got started, okay? When I got started, I'm just going to put a U for you, okay? But when I got – can you see that? Bigger, bigger, okay? U. What I understood was I understood – that I had to figure out in the company what made it tick, okay? I'm going to do this first before I go into my system, okay? Think about this. How many of you know that when you enroll four people, you know, on a 200, uh, when you enroll them on a pack, four people, we talk about going for gold, right? Going for gold. Let's just keep it simple tonight. Four for gold. Well, what I learned is – if I could get four people in, four people in, underneath me, okay, or underneath a person, what happens is they start making some money from the company. So, yes, they're drinking the products, they're using the products, they're rolling it on, whatever they're using, but they start making some tangible money. So their belief goes up. When their belief goes up, 
I just want to help them. I call it running the play. I want to help them do what? Everybody do this. Give me, give me a four. I want to help them find. I'm going to show you tonight my system for finding four. But I wanted to help them get four. So now I can turn four to 16. Okay? Can you see that, Crystal? Now, here's the thing. You brought four to the table, but now your team is at 16. But what are we going to teach those 16 to do? Get four. Get four. Okay? Run the play. Run the play. So now 16 gets four. What's that? Right? Right? So now 16 gets four. We build, we're building a bigger army, teaching a system, teaching something simple. But what's happening? Every time somebody gets four, their belief goes up in the industry. Their belief goes up. They stay here a little longer to figure it out. They use our products just a little bit more to figure out they work. Okay? But at 64, that's when I started, almost a decade ago, I started making, like, really, you know, at 16, I was making $100 a month. I mean, crap, that paid for my product every month. At 64, I started making, like, $500 plus dollars a month. Like, that's, in Florence, Alabama, that's a car payment. <laughs> So all I did, I still had a full-time job, so I just thought, I got, I'm going to get good at coaching the play of four. Now, 64 turned to 256, and at 256 people in my organization, remember, I started with four, but the play drove us to that. Does that make sense? Raise, raise your hand if that makes sense. So that, at that point, that's when I started making about $2,000 a month. Now, at that $500 to $2,000 a month, that's when I got excited about the industry because I was making enough money to pay for the mortgage of my home. I was feeling better. I had lost almost 30 pounds using the products. So I was a believer in the industry, and it started with Ford. How important is Ford? People talk about in this industry, they talk about making millions. They talk about this. They talk about that. None of that matters until I get a first down. None of that matters until I take a step. We got to help people take a step. Here's why network marketing has got a stigma in the industry because there's been too many body bags laid on the side of the road. Sign them up and leave them. How about let's sign them up and step them through to make some income, use some product, have a transformation, and now their belief goes up. And I promise you this, they're proud enough to tell their friends and family. Now, 256, running the play, teaching each other how to run the play of four, turned to what, 1,024. Now that's where I saw my income grow to six, a good healthy six figure income a year. I'm not doing this to say, oh, that's an income claim. No, no, here's the thing. What are all these people doing? They're purchasing a month supply of product every month, about a hundred in product volume, right? Right? About five dollars a day. You get this many people, you get over 300 people in your organization purchasing about $5 a day a product, about 100 PV. Guess what you do? You start to make really good income here. And you should, right? How many of you can see a place you would like to be here? I, I know that's what I saw. And so I never forgot that. That's what happened to me here. But here's the thing. I want to I want to take you here. Here's where I want you to understand tonight. You're with a company exploding from the seams. You're with a company that is going to do more in 2020 
than all their other years combined in sales. You're in a company expanding their products, expanding the companies that are coming on board, bringing some things that are industry first to the table over the next couple of months. What do you have to do to get your piece? You got to row the boat. You got to row the boat. I want to ask you a question tonight. If I were on your shoulder this past week, looking at what you were doing, would you be really excited? That's what I want to take your mind to, okay? I want to take your mind to that. Would you be excited of what I'm looking at? Because I want you to go here with us. And so tonight, I'm going to give you some things, but you might have your own system. Your leaders might have their own system, okay? I'm going to tell you what Brent Palmer does on a weekly basis. Are you okay with that? We good? All right. So I believe to get what I just showed you, I got to go into every week with the right mindset. So Andrea Rosser, we're going to go back and forth with this slide, and you're free to take pictures of it. But Andrea, would you, would you put up uh, the first slide? So I want you to look at this. Number one. Thank you, Andrea. Number one, top 10 list weekly, game plan. We're about to go game plan right here. Okay, you take it down, Andrea, thank you. Number one, I'm gonna create, going into Monday, I'm gonna create a top 10 list, okay? Now, who do I want on that top 10 list? I want some go-getters, some movers, shakers, hustlers, positive, motivated people. You put 10 people on a list and you do what I'm about to tell you to do, I promise you this, we're going to get four of them. We're actually getting about eight of them. But, but we're going to get four. I can promise you that. So any new person that does what I'm about to show, we're going to get four. All right. Number two, Andrea. Made my top 10 list. So, I'm going to draw bases for you, okay? I'm going to draw bases. First base, second base, third base. Now, I, first base is always an invitation to look for me, okay? Always an invitation to look. Thank you, Andrea. So, I want to ask you this question. If first base is an invitation to look and no one <laughs> around us knows the name Oryx. Just like years ago, they didn't know about Apple. Like Chris Doyle said, they didn't know about Microsoft. Here's the thing. I'm just simply going to call these people on my list, okay? I'm going to get in touch with them with excitement, and I'm going to ask them. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Have you ever heard of Oryx? Now, I can 100% guarantee that odds are the answer is what? What's the answer right now? If I walked out in my hometown, what's the answer? No. They don't know what I'm talking about. Have you ever heard of Oryx? No. Now, my second thing is going to be, if I were to send you two short videos, would you take time to watch them? If they're positive and they're energetic, what are they going to say? Yes. I already know the answer. I know the first answer is no. Have you ever heard of Oryx? I know the second answer is yes. I'll watch the two short videos. Now, I challenge all of you that we have a share out that's called Oryx Share uh, that's got Oryx videos on them. You're more than welcome to use them, okay? All you need is your Oryx ID number and your password, and you can get into that Oryx Share out, okay? Everybody across the board. Everybody with me? So if you just went to the Apple store and you downloaded the Rx Share, Rx Share, you could just simply type in your ID number and your password and you'll have access to it. So my first base, my invitation to look is simply sharing video one. Okay, you're gonna see 
video one on the RX share out. And all it is is a very short clip about RX that just piques the interest. You might see a video there at the first part of that RX share out that says the time is now. How many of you seen now is the time? Where it talks about the world we're living in right now. It's really short. But I send that video followed by video two. Now, if you're on the RX share out, once they watch it, you'll get notified, okay? You know that they watched the video. But the bottom line, if you wanna use something else, Myra Miles uses a 20 second video, but the bottom line, maybe your leader does something else. But first base is an invitation to look. And I have the RX share out that I use for that because it's so simple. I, I don't want things to be complicated. I want it to be simple so I can teach it to the masses. So first base is an invitation to look. Okay. How many of you understand it so far? Everybody follow me. So I'm moving my top 10 list to first base during the week. Okay. Now they've watched both videos. They've watched my videos. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to move them to second base by getting them, I'm going to move them to second base where I share why you are doing this. I share why I'm doing this. I'm either going to do it with a two-on-one. Chris Doyle does two-on-ones all the time at coffee shops. He does Zooms all the time. He does FaceTimes. He does three-way calls. He does duos if you've got that type of phone. Second base is where I'm looking at the person and I'm just sharing with them why I got started in the industry. Do you realize your first day you could start sharing why you're doing this? You don't need a transformation to do that. You don't have to make a bunch of money to do that. Here's what I shared. All these years, here's what I shared. I was a high school football coach, a principal and an athletic director. I found myself in $20,000 of credit card debt and I needed a side bit. I needed something to do on the side to generate extra income. And that's why I'm here. Like how many th people out there in the world do you think are in credit card debt and could relate to that? If it's good for me, it might be good for them. I shared why I was doing this. You can share why you're doing this. So you might do it. So it's all second base is, is a two-on-one, a two-on-one Zoom. We're doing them all over the place right now. And it's where you and one of your partners in the business is talking to a prospect. And all you're doing is for 20 minutes, you're just talking to them and you're sharing with them about why you're doing this business, what you're excited about, and you're just relationshiping with them. Does that make sense? So right now, if you can send a video via text and you can move them to a two-on-one, you're winning the game on the four bases. Now, I'm always at the end of two-on-one, I'm looking at them, I'm extending my hand and I'm going, me and you doing this together, we could rock this thing. Like, do this with me. You ready to get started? I'm always asking for the invitation right? Just like a preacher. Just like Brother Bobby McCain would do this on this Zoom tonight. Got to ask the invitation. I did it. I do it at second base because sometimes at second base, you just get them on home, baby. They're ready to go. They're ready to sign up. But if they're not ready and they need some more information, I get them to third base, okay? All third base is right here on the slide that Andrew will show you. Third base is a follow-up to learn more. A follow-up, let me back up, Andrea. Second base, let's back up just a second. If you can, in that slide for me. So, at second base, there is a video, be transformed video, it's, it's, if it's on my YouTube channel. I know it's on Chris Doyle's. Andrea, maybe come on live where, where we can hear you. 
Be Transformed is a really good video for me right now to show at a two-on-one, okay? If I'm sitting down with somebody and they just need to see something as you're talking to them. Andrew, you got anything to add to where they can go find that video? So you can find, you can find it in two places. So it's on Chris Doyle's Facebook, or no, I'm sorry, YouTube page. And then it's also on Brent Palmer's YouTube page. And if you search for Brent Palmer, you might find two. Look for the one that he is in, or you are in a sports coat. Okay, I got two YouTubes. I'm messed up out there somewhere. I'm in a sports coat, and it's called Be Transformed. 2020. Okay. Be Transformed 2020. And you can show them that video. It's a great video, especially in, you know, when I'm in person to just press play, and let it show them. If you have not seen that, it's great. So now pull back up the slide, Andrea, on third base. So they don't enroll at the two on one. And they need a follow up to learn more. That's where our big Zooms come in. I do a big Zoom on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. I know Chris Doyle does a Zoom on Mondays. We have Zooms through the week. Tammy Mobby, I know Crystal Vance. So those bigger Zooms is great at that third base point. Maybe it's an in-home meeting or in-home party, or maybe it's a big event where you're getting them there as a follow-up to learn more. And then once they do that, I'm always asking them at that point again, do this with me. Will you do this with me? I'm asking for the invitation, but I promise you this, if you take 10 people this week and you move them around these bases right here, just like you've seen tonight, we're going to get four. And so what happens when somebody enrolls? Again, let's go back to this. It's not what works for you. It's what duplicates to the masses. When someone enrolls, how do you get them started? The goal is to get the new person to repeat this game plan to create their transformation and to start making money where their belief goes up and they stay here longer to figure it out. That's the whole goal of this. And here's the thing. I see it so many times in this industry. We sign people up, but that's not where it stops. That's where it starts. That's where it starts. Now it's our time to make that top 10 list with them and to teach them the four bases, to teach them exactly what to say, exactly what to share. That is what takes somebody from four going gold to then looking up and they see 16, 16 new people building a top 10 list. Now there's 160 names on that list between 16 people, right? And people are sharing using your system. And then it turns to 32, I mean, to 64. And it, now, now we got 64 people making a top 10 list. And you start to overtake the state of Alabama. You start to overtake the state of Arkansas. You start to overtake Texas, California, Canada by, by creating a system through the masses. When people ask me if, if, this was, if this was a can of burn and someone asked me, here's, here's where the road kind of splits. If someone said, what, what's that you're drinking? I'd say, oh man, it's great, it's great. I'm gonna give you one, but we need to talk. I got a question for you. Have you ever heard of Oryx? What's the answer gonna be? No. No. If I were to send you a couple of short videos, would you take time to watch them? Yes. And there it goes. And there it goes. So when people say, Brent, you recruit a lot of people. That's why. I could have gave them just a burn. But instead, I shared the whole story. They might have ended up just buying burn. But they got to see the whole story of what this offers. And that's how it mushrooms into something huge, into a massive organization. 
tonight, I just wanted, you know, after yesterday, after listening to Fred Cooper and Chris Doyle, I knew what I wanted to bring to the table on my training call. Because although you might do something a little bit different, I knew that there was somebody out there that would see this and there's something they could apply, if not all of it, there's something they could apply to make their business tick a little better, to make their system streamline a little bit easier. And at the end of the day, when you start doing that, you're going to start to see your, 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 your business and your team's business mushroom. And I want to tell you, and when you are at a place like we are right now, with a company going in to massive momentum. It makes you look, it makes me look a lot smarter than we really are when people start joining. Anthony Moreland today, like he's enrolled like five or six people today, right? And if you were to ask Anthony Moreland how he's doing it, he's doing it just the way he did it last week. He's doing it just the way he did it the year before. But there's something special about right now. There's just a buzz in the air. There's people coming to the table for the people that are out there sharing it. And I know tonight there's going to be a lot of people on this, a lot of like-minded people on this that go, I'm getting my piece of the pie. I'm helping my team get theirs. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I love you. I'm grateful for you. And I thank God each and every day that he brought me, Oryx, in this new era to run with and bless people's lives with. Thank you for being here on this Sunday evening. Have a great night. Love you.